Aadmi Party Supremo Arvind Kejriwal is back to trying his luck in the elections in Delhi. The only difference is he is now much more mature in his own account where he claims that he has learned his lessons. While opposition takes pot shots at Kejriwal by calling him muffler man and buffer man, he says that given the numbers this time, he will not run away from ruling the crucial state of Delhi. A look at Delhi's own representative of the mango man. An IITN and IRS officer, one who had used the RTI to blow the lid on many corrupt practices and being an integral part of the Anna Hazare movement, Arvind Kejriwal has worn many caps. He has also run a 49-day government but failed to continue after the Jan Lokpal bill failed to get passed in the assembly. This Marxist award winner was born on Janmashtami at Bara Mohalla in Hisar. Son to Geeta Devi and Govind Ram, Kejriwal never stuck to his assignments as he had the bigger goal in mind. While India knows him as the man who gave up power for people, his story starts from the by lanes and alleys of Bara Mohalla. His father was an electrical engineer. All that they possessed was a quarter and a scooter. Kejriwal was never the street smart kid. He was more into chess and books. He had a hidden talent of making sketches, which he proudly honed. Though not sporty, he was always the topper in his class. He then would be one of the ten running around in his maternal home. Today, he is the leader of the pack. The political opinions of Kejriwal took shape when he left for his mechanical engineering studies. He, at this stage, also worked for the less fortunate. Kejriwal has been highly influenced by V.P. Singh. He is believed to have given away everything in charity when in IIT except his set of clothes. Every man has his turning point. For Arvind's mentor, Anna Hazare, if it was about reading a book by Swami Vivekananda and getting a sense of service to mankind is service to God. Arvind's meeting mother Teresa changed the way he looked at things. A repository of knowledge, he appeared for the civil services exam, got selected in one shot for the Indian Revenue Service. He, however, was keen on to get into IAS. The idea here too was service. When on second attempt he got IRS, he settled on it. He was the one for whose toiling the RTI came in 2005, for which he won the Marxist Award in the year 2006. He used it in many government departments, including the Income Tax Department, the Municipal Corporation of Delhi, the Public Distribution System and the Delhi Electricity Board. Incidentally, this very year, he gave up his post at the Income Tax Department. Together with Manish Sisoria and Abhinandan Sekri, Kejriwal established the Public Cause Research Foundation in December 2006, donating the prize money he had received from the Marxist Award. He used RTI as a key weapon in his fight against craft. A few years later, he teamed up with activist Anna Hazari to demand the anti-corruption Lokpal bill. This came when he realized that just bringing down the muck was not sufficient, a penalty was the key. Arvind Kejriwal launched AAP in November 2012 following differences between him and Anna Hazare over whether the India Against Corruption movement needed to be kept political. Kejriwal earned the ire of Anna who wanted it to remain a political movement. Kejriwal formed AAP with the support of Prashant Bhushan and Shanti Bhushan but was opposed by others such as Kiran Bedi and Santosh Hegre. In 2012, he chose the birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi to announce that he was forming a political party. The launch was on 26th November. His first target to test political waters was Delhi. Arvind Kejriwal led up, made a spectacular debut with winning 28 seats under him. The 45-year-old defeated three-time Chief Minister Sheila Dixit by nearly 25,000 votes. With no majority, he got back up from the Congress. On 28 December 2013, the day Arvin took his oath, he said in a sound bite he was embarking on the second war of independence. A poster at the venue, the Ram Leela Maidan, where he took his oath read, Aaj ka CM, kal ka PM. An idea which turned to Sheila Tohari hai, ab Modi ki bari hai, on the day he quit. Arvind Kejriwal on his oath-taking day had made no less a statement than the famous quote, Swaraj is my birthright and I shall have it. Will he turn out to be a force to reckon with this election will only be known once Delhi votes. Powered by NNIS.